Well, we got a different uh, view cool today cool from the water blind. There it is right there. You can see my uncle's old gate. It might be. It depends on cooler, right? <laughs> Made a door on the blind. Good fight. So we're in the but brush the pile blind. When we made the uh, <coughs> panel. We put paneling oh, on the Oh, yeah, yeah. Wall paneling. Give you guys a look. <sighs> We got some duck decoys out. Goose decoys out. Robo running. See, we look like a brush pile here. Top the blind. Wind's dying down a little bit. It was a stiff 20, 20, 21 mile an hour. So I think it's supposed to get down to about 14 mile an hour. Well, we'll try this evening hunt, see what happens. Uncle Bob broke all the ice up in this pond. You still see ice over there. But all of it broke up and the wind just broke it. Just took it all down to the south end of the pond. Well, it's a beautiful morning. New Year's Day. Happy New Year to everybody. This is the warmest day we've had, which is why we're back out on the pond. No wind. Beautiful, the sun's not up yet. Beautiful, beautiful morning. A lot of folks are in bed hungover right now. The amateurs. Got three robos going out there. Some geese over here in the corner. Nice decoys. We got a nice spread going. So we're very hopeful. We already had a couple ducks uh, early, early too early come in and land on the other side of the pond when we pulled up this morning we had all the decoys out from yesterday and there was a couple ducks and a goose in the pond already so we're pretty hopeful today pretty hopeful to start 2014 off with some fresh blood <clears throat> what do you think Tom I think we're good <laughs> it's gonna be a great morning very good happy new year everybody there you go Well, we had a little cluster of decoys all together. Uncle Bob wanted to go out there and break them up a little bit. Without no wind, they're just sitting next to each other. We gotta space them out a little better, more, a little better. Get a uh, more realistic looking spread. Put some ripples in the water. <laughs> Get some movement out there. Well, we got ourselves a duck, Uncle Bob shot. Problem is, he's out in the middle of the pond. When we left this morning, I said, you know, we probably should bring the dog. You did not. Oh, <laughs> 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 Maggie gave that duck. So we're just waiting for it to blow over oh, here. Fuck. It'll be here shortly. Oh, uh, we got another duck. Another mallard. I'm going up to the gate and we'll have later drop right. down here. Alright. And we ret we retrieve that one. And my uncle called my aunt to bring the dog down. Because way over there we still got that other bird and there ain't no wind, so we're gonna have to get the dog to get it. So 
Here. Number two duck of the day. Starting off the new year all right. Got some empty shells out there floating from our shooting. <laughs> Just bobbing out in the pond. Maggie, we got a job for you. She's going to get in the water before Bob tells her. You got to go to the other side, Bob. Come here, Mag. She's dragging some decoys with her. <laughs> Mag, you're going in, can't you? Yeah. Since that bird was on the clear other side of the pond, we couldn't get uh, Maggie's attention to go get it. So I got to walk the dog over and walk around just so we could see it. We tried throwing some mud and get her attention. She didn't see it. So uh, my uncle's walking around the other side. Hopefully she'll get a glimpse of that bird. and jump in and get it so maybe the greyhound will get it that'll be the fastest retrieve ever She's getting it. Bird. I think it's close enough to the bank now. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, we didn't meet her anyway. Yep, yeah, he had pulled the head off. <laughs> He's trying to get her to retrieve. What <laughs> the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> That's funny. I don't know. She's getting it. It's been a long time since she's retrieved a bird. She was not young. Well, it appears we don't have to worry about cleaning the head on this one. <laughs> Pretty, uh, he was crippled. We had to hit him again, so uh, lost the head on this guy. And uh, we're going to go ahead and press these guys out. And uh, we've already got those couple of geese that we used, the, uh, used that we uh, harvested the other day. So I'm going to go ahead and press these out. And uh, we're going to cook them up, and I've got a little recipe I'll show you guys. Hopefully, uh, we're going to go out for an evening hunt. 
and try to get some more ducks. So, just wanted to show you what's going on right now. A couple of mallard drakes. I know, it's still New Year's Day, guys. What a difference a few hours makes, man. It's a little after 2 o'clock, and uh, holy mackerel, it uh, dropped down to about 30 degrees, 34, 35 degrees. We now got about a 20 mile an hour wind <laughs> from the north. Supposed to get a little bit of trace of snow here tonight. And uh, the temperature's just dropping. We're hoping to bust a few more ducks maybe before, uh, before sunset. So we've got a nice gray sky looking like snow, which is what may be coming. So we're hoping these birds are gonna wanna get uh, take a little rest before the uh, the storm comes through tonight which is not really a storm but a front a front that's that's the word I'm looking for all right still testing that cold water gear guys this cold weather cold water <laughs> he's actually testing the cold water in the waders Alrighty. Man. Well, still New Year's Day in the evening and uh, we got another mallard drake and uh, had a few come in and only one fell <laughs> that's haunting so still got another hour about an hour or so left Bob's thermometer over there says it's 32 but that wind chill it's got to be in the teens and that wind is howling that's why I'm down here because if I was up there you would just hear wind Apologize for the wind guys, but that's what we got today. So hopefully we'll bust a few more mm -hmm. 